Hey guys, and good morning. William and I are just hanging out this morning, and he is teething officially. He's been drooling for a couple weeks now, you know, pretty bad, but you can tell he's in pain, especially in the afternoon and the evening. Do you want your teether? Come on. No? He normally reaches for it when he wants it, but this is one of the ones that you put in the freezer and it gets cold. Um, it's kind of warm now, so he's boycotting it all of a sudden. But we're teething and it's been rough. Hasn't it, buddy? Hasn't it? You were so talkative before. You don't want to talk to them? No. Say no, not right now. And it's definitely affecting his mood, his sleep, his appetite, literally everything. He's just a little a little out of it or a little fussy pretty much all the time. <laughs> right now we're looking at the light above. I guess we haven't seen that light on very often, huh? Say no, not very often. We just have the window open. All right, I'm going to put you in here for just a minute, okay, buddy? Just a minute. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna put on this carrier here and wash our teethers. I try and gather them up, you know, every day or so, just because they're constantly in his mouth, which is what they're used for, but I'm trying to keep it as sanitary as I can. Um, this carrier is probably the one we've been using the most. It's the, what is it, Infant Tino? Yeah, I don't know. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's, like I said, our favorite at the moment, but one thing I'm not a fan of with it are these clips. I just always seem to pinch myself and they're really hard to get undone. Um, but he seems comfortable in it. We have the mom cozy one, which is very similar in design. But I feel like this part where he sits is very wide and he's not as comfortable in it. Um, I don't know. I might try it out again, but he just didn't seem as happy. You guys have seen us use the boba wrap in the past quite often because for the first three months, we loved it. I mean, he was super comfortable, he would sleep in it a lot. But for some reason at the three month mark, he just absolutely hated it all of a sudden. So I'll definitely be keeping that boba wrap for future babies because we loved it in the infant stage. And now that his neck control is really good, I might get out the kite baby wrap I have. It's a ring sling one, never tried it before. I think you can use it with infants, but I bought it so at this stage, he can just kind of sit in a little seat on my hip. So maybe we'll try that today. We'll see if we get that out or not. We're gonna go wash some teethers, but I'm actually gonna stick this one in here. The other day we did this and he loved it. He just bent down and chewed on it when he wanted. So we'll see if he does that again. To the kitchen. So we have collected quite the array of uh, teethers, <laughs> which we honestly use them all and there's still some floating around the house. But these are our two favorites right now, this little hunk one and then this little sunset one. I think because they're circular and they're easy for him to grab and it's not too thick to fit into his mouth. Um, these, these two, the dinosaur and the fox, are super cute and he actually loves to play with them because I think just visually he likes them. But they are a little thick to fit in his mouth at the moment so he's not a big fan in that in that regard. Um, one thing I did the other day which worked perfect, I put one of the pacifier clips on this teether. We were out and about, never hit the floor. Never hit the floor. Um, I don't know why I've never thought of that before. And then you have the little Mom Bella, I think. Yeah, Mom Bella, um, it's a mushroom, but I call it an alien. Will calls it Shrek. We you know, have a million names for this thing. He loved this when he was little. Oh good, are you sucking on it? Use your teether, good job. But when he was really little, he loved this thing, but now, all of a sudden, that he can like actually grasp it correctly and fit his little hand in here, he just puts it up to his mouth like this. So he gets frustrated that the little nipples, I guess, on it um, aren't going in his mouth. So we'll probably try this again in a week or two, and maybe he can figure it out again. Um, and then what he's using now is just this little teether, and you can put this in the freezer. He loves it. I didn't mean for this to turn into show and tell, but I guess it is. Um, we have little Sophie the giraffe as well, which squeaks. We didn't know it squeaked for um, a couple weeks when we were using it. You like little Sophie, don't you? Squeak, squeak. 
Um, this one he loves, easy to hold, and I think he just likes to play with it because it has eyes. Anything with a face, he likes. Same with this little guy. Um, we think it's a lion, it doesn't really look like a lion, but he likes to chew on the mane here, and it's just big and easy to hold on to. Um, this is N-U-B-Y, oh, did I do the face? The Newbie brand. Um, I'll link everything I can down below for you guys if you're interested in it, any of it. The last thing um, we have is this set. And this is like a set of 20 or 30 maybe um, of just different, different rattles, different teethers, and they all make sound, which he loves. And like I said, there's like 20 of them, so they're floating around the house. Some are on the car, some are in the diaper bag, stroller. We use these all the time just for something to entertain them with for a couple minutes when we need it. Um, I thought these were dishwasher safe, but some of them have like little holes in it where I don't really want water to get into it. So, probably not gonna wash all of these. I'm gonna have to do some research. See, see if I'm gonna wash those. Same with Sophie the Giraffe. I've just been cleaning Sophie the Giraffe with like a wipe um, because I just don't know. I don't want water to get in there, ruin the squeaker, get moldy, whatever. I don't know. I was gonna ask, how's everyone cleaning like the little crinkle paper toys like we have a couple books that he loves like this but I just feel like I don't know they're time to be it's time to be washed um let's see does it tell us oh it has a little hand washing like um symbol you guys are like what is Elena doing <laughs> um see right there I think that's for hand washing so maybe I will but he likes this one in particular because it has the little teether on the end unlike a lot of the other ones we have. So let's get to washing before you get sick of this um, baby carrier, you know? Hello. It's the next day, right? Say hello. It's the next day. Hello. <laughs> I got my ring sling out. It's a little wrinkly, but we're gonna give it a shot. I've done it one time. Um, so I gotta look it up. So here we are.
doing pretty well and I feel like he's secure, but these rings also were up here. Oh, that needs to be like that. Is that half of the reason? Okay, that feels even tighter. Oh, perfect. And then I think next time I'll shimmy this up higher, but kind of a fan. <coughs> kind of a fan. You look so cute, I love it. <laughs> but we are outside because I wanted to show you our garden. You haven't seen it in probably a year because this little guy made mama so sick in the tummy, huh? Oh, you're tired. Okay, quick garden tour. We definitely have work to do. We're on a pressure wash and everything, but this is the screened in area. Our succulents are looking so good, crazy. Those are literally growing out of a crack. Impatience just spread. <laughs> um, we have our blueberry bushes with so many blueberries. Those are all gonna be blueberries. I'm so excited. All those little white flowers will be blueberries. Ooh, you wanna chat, William? In here are gonna be carrots. We just planted them yesterday. Some flowers that will bloom soon. Mint. Raspberries. And these are habaneros, which definitely need to be replanted in a bigger area soon. Over here we have tons of peppers. We do have two um, tomato plants and then all of the rest of these are peppers. Poblano, banana, bell, habanero, just chili peppers. Literally so many things. Because of the Florida summer being so brutal, we know peppers are one thing that will survive most of the time. Over here, these big plants are actually habanero plants that Will planted, I think, right around the time William was born. And over here, you can see all these little onion shoots. So all the magic is happening under the ground there. We've never had good success with onions, so I'm hoping this spring is the year. And then over here on our big bed with the trellis, we still need to plant quite a bit, but we have some beans that are going. Over here, some beans that we just planted yesterday, so they'll catch up. Some peas we just planted yesterday. And then these are cucumbers, which we learned quickly also need a trellis. And then all this space up front, we still need to plant. This ring sling on for like five minutes and he seems happy and it's honestly so comfortable and way cuter than all the other ones we've been using lately so this might be our new go-to might be our new go-to right William this guy is so sleepy but we're gonna check out what dad's doing over here do you hear all the squeakies in the background do you hear the squeakies William dad is over here spraying some neem oil mixed with water all over the plants so the leaf miners and what is it the skipper butterfly is that the one babe yeah those two the skipper butterfly ate all of our vegetables like two falls ago and broke my heart <laughs> so we're just gonna try and keep up with it and keep all the buggies away right William are you gonna like the garden when you're older hmm I think you will. hi say goodbye vlog See, the vlog is over. We're gonna finish spraying and go take our bath. It is bedtime. We will see you guys all later, right? Say goodbye, goodbye.